Hello, this is Ultima Mantoid, and this is Let's Play Tetris. I'll think of a better name for this at some point later. I just want to try and get this done, finally. Uh, this is probably like the sixth or seventh try. I keep having the audio and the video desync from each other. But regardless, this is Tetris. Uh, it's a game that was created in 1984. It has two modes. Type A is a blank uh, playing field. You can put blocks wherever you choose as long as they're on the bottom. Type B is has blocks that are scattered throughout your playing field that will interfere with your setting up of Tetrises. We have three different musics that you can pick from, and for some reason, I'm having computer issues too. Uh, but anyways, you have three different musics. For all intents and purposes, we'll pick this one. It is Dance of the Sugar Plums from the Nutcracker Suite. Now, why am I doing a Let's Play? Because I enjoy gaming a lot. Uh, it's probably my biggest hobby, and it's probably the reason I don't do drugs. Oh, I went there. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a, a block falling block game. It's the most famous one. And if you take the sales from every single version of Tetris ever made, I think it's actually the most sold game of all time. But that's only if you take every version that's ever been made and you, you know, combine the sales of it over time. So... It's got quite a legacy going for it. It's been replicated on pretty much every single possible console. And heck, it's even on uh, phones. I mean, it's it's had 100, like 100 million copies sold just on phones. So, who knew? Now, a little trivia for you here. What is Tetris? Tetris is a game where you have blocks that take shapes... And you have to create a, I guess, you have to make solid lines with them. Now, why is this addicting? I don't know. But the trivia is, what are these blocks actually called? There is actually a scientist, I believe it was, or not a scientist, but at least a mathematician back in the uh, 50s who came up with a name. These shapes had been, I guess, discovered or something in the... 1910s, but they weren't named until the 50s, and they were called, uh, let me think, polyominoes, that's it, polyominoes. So think domino, but with the word poly in front of it, meaning multiple. Uh, as you know, a domino is just two square blocks. The polyomino is divided up into different types of polyominoes. The ones featured in Tetris are called tetranominoes. And they actually go in different uh, types, such as the octomino, the uh, pentomino, the hexomino, until, you know, you reach, I think it's like 10 is the highest that I know of, and at that point, you know, you're looking at like hundreds of thousands of block combinations, so it gets a little redundant at that point. Why did I pick this music? Um, honestly, I actually picked it because it's my my personal favorite, but the other reason is it was, uh, I guess you could say, remixed by a group that goes by The Adventures of. It was originally called The Adventures of Dwayne and Brando, but... Dwayne left the group, and he and uh, Brando kind of took the project on himself and reformed the band. So now they are the Adventures of. They do video game rap. If you could, I guess if you could call them a genre, that would be what their genre is. They're experimental hip hop, and their lyrics are amazing. I haven't found anything quite like it, and I'm pleased that I found them. If you want to check them out, I would highly suggest looking them up on their MySpace. By the way, what I just did was a Tetris. If you get four lines all at the same time, you will clean the screen, and it's known as a Tetris. But, coming back to Dwayne and Brando, they, uh, 
And it's going to start getting harder here soon. But uh, go look them up on their MySpace. You can find them through Google. Heck, you can find them here on YouTube. So, if uh, you happen to see, if you happen to see them, you like what they uh, like what they have. They have an LP, or if you like what they do, they have an LP. It's ten bucks off their MySpace. Highly worth it. I seriously, strongly urge you to go check them out at least. So, and yes, I know that's a terribly shameless plug, but they're they're just that great. I, what can I say? You like something, you want to help them out, you promote them. So I guess this is my way of promoting them. But it's it's ten bucks, which isn't much, and that wasn't meant to go in there. But I guess I kind of flubbed that up, didn't I? Why is it giving me this? Just. I think the Tetris gods are a little bit angry with me. And uh, on a, a curious note, this is actually my favorite color combo as far as the way that the um, blocks are laid out. It's like pastel or something. I don't know, but it just looks really nice. And I need to get rid of some of these holes. That didn't sound right. There's a uh, name, actually, for some of these blocks, but unfortunately I can't recall it right now. Oh, and if you're also curious about uh, the game's history a little bit, you can actually see the name of the guy that came up with the idea of Tetris. He's on the very first screen that you saw when I started the video. One that has uh, the company name Elorg. Yeah, if you back the video up to the very start, you'll actually see the brains behind Tetris. Now, this is by far the most well-known puzzle game, probably, at least probably ever. I don't know of anyone that actually has never heard of Tetris, and if you haven't, well, then you live under a rock. There is, there's no, no lie. If you don't know what Tetris is, you probably live under a rock, or you're like a small toddler or something. Now, on a uh, little bit of a game-related note, we're at line 72. What this means is that it's going to get harder, it's going to get faster, and I'm probably going to start making mis like much, much more grave mistakes. Especially with me being halfway up the screen and not having fixed it at this point. I've already done this once. I finally fixed the, uh... Ooh, a Tetris. I finally fixed the syncing problem with my videos. Only to find out that the video was too long for YouTube. And that made me very sad. Spent 30 minutes uploading. And... What can you do? It's a YouTube policy. They won't take the video. And that's understandable. I wonder how many terabytes of space that they're going through at this point. I mean, think about it. How many videos a day get uploaded from something as awesome as, like, I don't know, political statements or something to, like, a 10-second apology that's in, like, the absolute worst quality possible. And I've rambled enough. Why am I doing these... Uh-oh. And we're at 90, and I'm probably going to fail at this point. But why am I doing Let's Plays? As I said, it's for my own fun. And... Uh, yeah, that's it. But hopefully I'm going to make this into a small series. I'm probably pushing 10 minutes. But that's okay, I got to 91. And we get the... I guess that's a space shuttle, or maybe a rocket. We'll go with rocket, because rockets are cool. So... After you lose, or whatever, you get to put in your name. So, for all intents and purposes, we'll use Ultima. And I don't know where L is in the alphabet all of a sudden. But I plan on making this into, uh, I guess you could say, a, a series. I may do requests, but this is going to mostly be games that I grew up with, in a way. That I want to, I guess, share with people. So... If you have a request, I'll I'll look into it. If I especially if I've never played it, 
So, I'll at least take a look at it, but if I don't like it, I probably won't play it, so please don't be offended. And with that, this concludes the Let's Play of Tetris. I'm Ultima Mantoid. Have fun.